Hi guys and welcome to a very special game. This is Movie. 1986 by Imagine Software. Developed by Dusko Dimitri Zivik, Drago Lejub Angelikovic and F. David Thorpe. This is crazy good this one for the time. And there's the front cover there. You can see a screenshot below. Um, honestly I've not played this in decades but this was great. The isometric styling, the speed, the just the whole idea. Really good. I don't remember it being that quick actually. Well as you see when I start, he's actually in a fully beautiful looking isometric environment. With the animated clock and that. And I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to move actually because did I configure the keys? No, I did not. It seems like it's accelerated, actually, this game. Very much so. I don't know why. Maybe I've just tapped something. Couldn't have been this fast. It was slow as hell. That's the point, right? It was a very slow game. So don't let the uh, immense speed here uh, confuse you. It was, it was very slow. I don't know why... It's like that. Maybe it's a tweaked drama or something. But um, let me try and work this out. On a keyboard, it's uh, a bit difficult. I just need to know what spin is. That's spin. And what walk forward is. And I had it, didn't I? All right. So you can, well, generally you can pick things up and stuff, but I don't think I'm going to be able to, to do that with this weird control method. So I'm just going to take a little walk around. <laughs> I was never very good either, it's my Dropbox, but I just love the graphics. You can push things around, yeah, you can push tables and things like that, and there's a parrot you can talk to. Um, again, that's my artist, he loves to deliver while I'm in the middle of doing Skype videos. Well, why is that? Oh yeah, there's a tent. Um, I, I don't know how you interact with things, so I don't know if you even can, but yeah, I was a little child when I played this, and I was six years old, and this was all the rage, this was crazy good. Oh, you can get that gun, I remember that. How do you get the gun? You can get the gun and you can shoot people. Um, yeah, to be honest, I don't know the keys. But, oh, oh, I see the menu at the bottom. That's right. God, that's quite advanced, isn't it? So you can, you can swap from shoot to pick up, to put down, to walk. Now I don't know how to get out of this, unfortunately. But yeah, I was on walk, wasn't I? How do I get out? Oh, there you go. Well, to be honest, I'm going to skip picking up and shooting because it's very, very uh, unintuitive by modern day standards. But you can, as you see, get a gun, pick it up and, and shoot it. And you can go around and kill people. It's kind of like an old detective movie. And look, there's another guy here. Like I say, it's exceedingly accelerated. You can talk to this bloke, if I remember rightly. But you have to go to that menu at the bottom and, uh, you know, get right up to him and select uh, speech. It's kind of almost laughable, actually. Oh, there, I think I've got it. Haven't we met before, he says. But you can see the clock moving. That's very, uh, very nice absolutely stunning actually if you think about it this game try the second door look at him help me out looks exactly like me and that was you know a very early example of an NPC with AI you wouldn't expect that a person walking about um, so fluidly and nicely and the graphics so good in a game like this and something to do with those those knights you can push them over you can talk to this bird as well I swear, I'm just hoping he talks to me. Come on, mate. Got anything to say? Say that now, while we're on video. Don't wait till later. Come on, hey. Can knock him against the wall. I'm trying to get back onto that menu at the bottom. So I can uh, get into conversation mode. But yeah, the, the, the parrot talks to you. Um. And yeah, I, like I say, again, I'm quite stunned by the graphics. There's a, uh, there's a suit of armor in front of this, but you can 
Whoop, I'm dead. I died. Well, I've got 2% for uh, walking around a room. And as you can imagine, as a child, this was. Uh, well, it was fascinating. Because it was. It feels like a open world. Feels like something like what Shadowrun would become later on the SNES or something. It's like. Um, you know, really quite advanced. Walking around these little places. And you, you, in your mind, you thought there was a whole world, you know. When I used to sit down and make games on paper and stuff, I, uh, I used to think about this game. Come on! I'm in a bit of a pickle here because that's in the way, right? Oh, he's trying to kill me, this one, look. He kills you? Come on! He's shooting us, look. Right, properly violent, man. Little thin corridor, I like that. They don't always have to use all the screen, they just do a little artistic bit. It's almost like a comic book or something. Really good graphics, and you can push those plants around, I think. Oh, there's another one trying to kill us. Um, I'm not I'm not enjoying that too much. Oh, on a weird just bouncing ball. Jesus Christ, three of them, all trying to kill us. The, the ironic thing is, as a child, I thought I was getting really far, and it took ages, by the way. It was a ten times slower. That's why someone's hacked this. And getting to that room used to feel like an achievement, when really all you have to do is just go. I used to spend hours trying to pick things up and talk to people, and, you know, I never just flew through it like this. So, uh, yeah, that room felt almost like, like I'd achieved something by going far away. Stop! Just being so aggressive, mate. Just calm down. And, like, you know, be a bit of an adult about it. Just. Oh. Alright, so, uh. Well, the fact is, you're meant to get that gun and take them out. And because it's so slow normally, it's actually quite easy to fumble around. Not easy, but. You fumble around with the keys and you can get, uh. You can get the gun out and kill these buggers. Uh, relatively easy because it's so bloody slow but in this accelerated mode they have you in uh, in a heartbeat but you can see it's quite a large world hello uh, what is that is that some sort of gun or something on the table a little bar in the corner good atmosphere in here just hang out here but uh, yeah I can't work out how to pick things up so if you want to do a better video where you actually pick things up Feel free, give me a link. But I thought, yeah, we have met before. I thought I would just do a bit of movie. Because, well, I don't know. I just had genuinely hadn't even thought about movie for many years. But we, we used to hold this in high regard, I think, when we were children. We laughed about it. So it was slow. So exceedingly slow. There's a little bar there. And a man came out and killed us. Four percent. Is that just incrementing from last time? Um, I'll tell you what, I'll give it one more go. Uh, I'm ruining a lot of my own legendary games here because this it just, just feels... Funny how we started in a different place. It feels like the graphics were great and, and it might have been fun, but it feels like the guys are just you know killing you far too easily. And I don't want to be fumbling around with that menu at the bottom just to fit, have a mess around but you're meant to take it more seriously I guess oh I'm getting a bit better I want to go and see if I can outrun those guys but it's so quick I wonder if I can speed it down uh, slow it down um, Let's slow it down. Well, I'm not quite sure right now. Just, just kills you so quick, man. 
Um, that was movie on the ZX Spectrum. Not a very good demonstration. I, I really loved that game back in the day, but like I said, it has been 30 years, um, and it's it's shown its age a bit. I, I think the interface for picking things up and and doing all that was absolutely wonderful, masterful. But uh, I just couldn't be asked to work out how to do it there. Um, if there was an easier way to do it, or if there was a couple of keys that I knew about, it would be simple, or a mouse clicking or whatever, or if it just intelligently knew when you wanted to pick something up, put something down, walk, shoot, talk, it should intelligently know, I mean, how often are you going to, of course, yeah, talking and shooting may get complicated, but how often are you going to know you're going to really need to do two things at once and not know what's happening? The interface was largely pointless, in my opinion, I think they probably could have got rid of that and made it much better. Um, possibly an excuse to make the, the screen size a bit smaller so that they could uh, you know, have a bit more faster action because of all the pixels they were throwing around. Possibly just bad design. Possibly some design necessity that I'm not taking into account. But uh, very beautiful isometric graphics. One of the only games I can think of on the Spectrum, possibly apart from Great Escape or maybe, that really um, produce serious looking game graphics that I would have them poster sized on my wall now. Every room we've looked at and all the other ones, I'd have them printed in fact, this is a good idea. I'd have them printed in high definition and on the wall as a poster. They were so beautiful. So that's what movie, that's what sold movie, really. On top of that, it was an alright game. Isometric was very hot at that point. Um, and it was kind of detective-y. Uh, you know, a bit like school days. you got a free will to walk around in. Maybe you contact Sam Cruise. Maybe it was something like that. There's some competitor stuff. I don't know. But... Thank you for watching Movie on the Spectrum.